What is going on guys? We're back with another video and we're finally doing another experiment or what if and it is been a while and of course NBA little stuff said if Peyton Manning was still in the NFL I'm assuming you know what if this and that uh is this actually what the Vikings offensive line is looking like holy crap they're so screwed I'm not gonna no I'm not even gonna touch that I'm just gonna leave it the way it is but uh, obviously the Vikings, they signed the biggest named guy in free agency at quarterback being Kirk Cousins. Not bad stats, obviously not a, you know, a lot younger than a guy like Peyton Manning, but I would argue that if they're a win now team, because obviously they don't have any loyalty in the, to any quarterbacks, they want to win now and Peyton Manning technically would be that guy. Uh, obviously he's, he's a little, old. he's 42, but he could probably sling the rock still. Obviously, we first have to see how would the Vikings do with their roster now. This is, you know, what they're supposed to look like at least. No, honestly, looking at the Madden ratings, they don't look that stacked. They do have a damn good defense. Uh, Eric Kendricks did just get a contract, but uh, I mean, they don't look that stacked. Like they're they don't like, especially the offensive lineman position, which I think is their easily weakest link. Man, unless there's some injuries that I'm just forgetting about here. Yeah, I don't see it. So, I mean, we're going to see how the Vikings do here. They should make the playoffs. They usually do. Uh, but they are actually a little bit of a slow starting team. Usually they do take a season or two to be purely dominant. But we'll take a look. And then, of course, we have to see how is the boy Peyton, the big forehead master. Uh, but thanks, NBA Little Stuff, for the suggestion, even though... I haven't seen him commenting around the channel lately, which could only mean one thing. He's probably dead. I'm sorry, NBA Little Stuff. Thanks for the, uh, you know, thanks for the corpse suggestion. Just kidding. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> you never know. But, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions like that, let me know. Obviously, we've done, like, Calvin Johnson. And I want ones that are kind of not unique, but if we're going to do players, I want them to be kind of special. I don't know. It's hard. It's a lot to ask for. We did make the playoffs, of course, at 11-5. and five. Um, But, like, I don't really think Adrian Peterson would be one because I think he's technically still in the NFL. I don't think he actually retired yet. But I don't know. Something. I don't, Charles Woodson? I don't know. That doesn't fit either. Someone that has, you know, that could still be playing. Ooh, I thought of something. Never mind. Kirk Cousins. Latavius Murray, Stephon Diggs, Adam Thielen. So, uh, I mean, Kirk Cousins did have a pretty damn good season. What about sack totals? Everson Griffin balled out of control. I mean, let's take a look at the offense again one more time. So, 3,900 yards, 31 touchdowns, 16 picks. It's kind of low considering how well the defense played. 18th offense, defense rank of third. I don't think he would be on the MVP list. So he was not on the MVP list. That's, I mean, we got to see if they make the Super Bowl or not. Straight to the Super Bowl we go. And I don't know if we're into it. Nope. Next week is an off season. So the Super Bowl winner was the Patriots. Postseason lost the first game. All right. So that's something to note. Uh, good old Kirk Cousins could not get it done. Peyton Manning, however, a bit of a different fella. And here we are. Peyton Manning. Number 88, let's get his dev to superstar. You know you're old in when uh, you can't even can't even be uh, created proper age. And I try to put his number, but somebody around here has number 18. We got to get Peyton. Like, any other player, I'd be like, eh, whatever. But Peyton Manning, Michael Floyd, shouldn't even be on a roster, mate. You haven't done enough. I remember Michael Floyd was okay for like a quarter of a season once. That was fun. So these are the stats we gave Payne Manning. 61 speed, probably a little generous at this point. 72 excel, 69 agility, 52 strength. 88 throw power is probably a little generous. I'd say 85, 86, but that's all right. 80, uh, 95 short, 91 mid, 83 deep. I gave him 88 awareness because 99 made him like a 92 overall. But I wanted to put him at 99, just throwing that out there. Throwing the run of 83, play action of 87, all the elusiveness moves, kind of crappy. 
uh, injury and all that a little high, but really is kind of irrelevant here. But yeah, I mean, we're going to go on, see if this team can do it. I mean, it's the exact same roster show you guys right now. I am using, of course, an updated roster that I think his name is Chris Offseason or something. I like his because they don't include the rookie prospects, which obviously a lot of people would probably prefer those, but it doesn't really make any sense here because we have no idea who's going to get taken and where they're going to get taken. So, And I would debate the Vikings would probably be worse after the draft. Like worse in the sense of the other teams would be better. You know? It's not as simple as your, your team getting better. It's about is your team getting better than the other guys getting better, you know? And with Peyton Manning, we went 8-8. Eight and eight. First, let's see the uh, the team schedule. 4 in preseason. Okay, okay. Let's see. I don't know if age has anything to do with anything. I think I did a video once, and it was proven. Well, Peyton Manning at the age of 40-plus, which he's just like 42, but he can't even do that in this game, uh, did much worse than Kirk Cousins. And I did use Kirk Cousins' player here. Obviously, I added him, so... There's no really ex no real excuses there because this is really Kirk Cousins with better stats, just less throw power, uh, but like 50 yards less, seven touchdowns less, and I think two picks more. Uh, rushing, you know, I really didn't pay attention to all those stats. If we're gonna be 100 honest, Kendall Wright, Latavius Murray, blocking was all similar. Uh, what about sack totals, actually? Everson Griffin, nowhere near. So, I mean, in all fairness, it could have been all defense year one. Uh, but either way, Payne Manning did perform la lesser than Kirk Cousins with the exact same build, but better stats, like I said. 23rd offense, that's five worse than Kirk Cousins' led offense. And defense, honestly, don't remember. I really don't. Uh, Case Keenum... I don't even know why I'm showing this. It's obviously not going to be any awards for us. Did I go through the whole list and then did it twice? I think I might have. I think I might have. Uh, but we'll take a look at who wins the Super Bowl. Aaron Rodgers wins MVP both times. God, I hope that's true. Be nice. Comeback player of the year. Guaranteed. Obviously. <laughs> at this point, unless they're trying to make a statement... Rodgers will win Comeback Player of the Year just automatically as long as he plays all 16. And the Falcons win. I don't know who it was against, though. Jacksonville. So, Peyton Manning coming back to the NFL. Yeah, he'd probably make a boatload of money. Probably like $14 million or something. Maybe 8 eight to 14 somewhere around there. Because obviously he can't just guarantee he's going to get super paid. Because, Well, I don't know. Because he wouldn't come back unless it was probably 14 mil or more. But I think, obviously, he's he's well past done. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions for uh, what ifs or what, you know, whatever it may be, uh, experiment videos, let me know in the comment section. If there's any games you'd like me to play, let me, though, know that as well. Uh, any game modes? Do you guys want me to play more draft champions? Do you guys? I really don't want to, but do you guys want me to play salary cap or... I don't know, mutt seasons. I really wouldn't want to, but hey. Also, if you have any like YouTubers, like they don't have to be around 20k. I'd prefer somebody that's at least trying to better their channel. Like they're at least uploading three videos a week and they aren't the worst quality in the world. Let me know in the comment section. Maybe we'll do a collab with them. I'd like to do a couple more collabs. Try to get some of those in the works. But yeah, thanks for watching as usual. Don't know what the videos were like today. If it was, it was the only one, maybe there was another experiment. Maybe there was Devin Wade, Cole Cruz. I don't know. But yeah, we guys come back for next video. But until next video, see.